I first met Julian Bream at Tisbury Station, where he came to meet me in his car and drove me to his home so that I could play for him for the first time as part of a kind of informal audition for the Julian Bream Trust. This led to him later inviting me to give two concerts at London's Wigmore Hall in 2015 and 2017, which were part of his ongoing Julian Bream Trust series. The two concerts combined contained about four hours worth of repertoire uh, in two concert programmes devised by Julian, and both included world premieres of new pieces that he had commissioned as part of his still ongoing series. And as part of all of this, um, I spent about four years regularly going down to Julian's house to work with him very closely on all of the repertoire for the concerts. I was very struck being in Julian's home by the sense of stillness there, um, just the sound of a ticking clock, uh, the birds chirping away outside, and it just felt so different from the fast paced and kind of frantic life that I was used to in London. And I remember Julian telling me that he could sometimes sit in the same armchair for hours on end, listening to music, something that he hadn't had as much time to do during his busy career, just getting lost in the music and looking out of the window um, at the view of his garden and the view beyond. The other thing was that I really was struck by Julian's um, sense of care for the small things and for the details. He'd often point things out to me um, in his house, in the garden, on the drive from the station to his home, um, and indeed in the music too. And so really in this piece, I wanted to convey that sense of care for the small things. But also more broadly, I wanted to write a tender piece of music that would encapsulate what Julian had meant to me and say thank you.